as a man who has different types of talents who made his income for his family from multiple income streams of different programs owned by my company blaze communications llc each program had a different business card so my business strategy and technology forum where i produced weekly or sorry bi-weekly conversations with local business owners on marketing tips techniques and technologies had its own business card that I could pass out to people when I was networking if I felt that they weren't really the appropriate guest uh, to my marketing business. At the same time, in my Japanese language program, we had, of course, a totally different business card for that company, but that card had a red dragon on it, a red communications-oriented dragon for the company because of the Japanese flag being the red sun of Japan. Now, in truth, when I produce a program, even the strategic savings seminar that I did with one of my dearest, closest business colleagues at the time had its own business card to invite people out. And on the back of the card, those were locally printed in my own uh, office. But I would write the date and the place of where I was inviting someone to when I was out business networking. Each of the Blazecom logos were purchased basically through uh, a company called and maybe I shouldn't say, so I won't, but the content was purchased, but I spent a lot of time revising those pieces and placing them together in a way that made sense for my company. So my Blaze Communication logo has changed a few times for printed material. In other words, I have this beautiful black logo, but it doesn't print well on letterhead when I'm writing letters to invite people to events or to invite people to look at my pro my productivity or my marketing portfolio or something like that when I'm doing the old-fashioned way of sending 3d mail you see one of the most well-paid marketing gurus across America talks about how sending letters sending newsletters sending 3d mail is essential to the marketing of any business and I 100% agree with him Absolutely, the hardest part about newsletters is making sure you have somebody to, around to help edit them because we all have imperfections in the way that we write. We also don't have as much time in the day. But time management is not the topic of the day. The reality is that in business life, if you're a graphic designer, if you're a video production person or a video editor, which is more my forte than necessarily production, I'm really good at bringing up ideas and ideologies, but I'm not Mr. Savvy in terms of what I know about people's time management, as they don't really give a shit how fancy your videos are unless you're really high up, unless you're really well paid, unless you're a million dollar earner. Then they expect something sort of great. But most people are multitasking when they're listening and watching uh, YouTube videos. They're doing their, their, their taxes, they're working in their kitchen cooking, they're spending time in a vehicle, so they're not paying attention all the time for the slides on the screen. But my old videos had content, and the reality is my new videos and, and audio casts are meant for people to be able to listen and multitask during their day. But the point I'm trying to make is that every company who's in graphic design, video production, has different logos for different purposes. My Fire Breathing Dragon is still my dragon, still actually resides down to mythical skies to place it on a computer that was a part of my website for the longest time until I changed my life, I changed what I was doing, but I kept the logo. And I put all of that part of Blaze Communications Studio together in my logo today. So if you're needing a graphic designer, I can help you with that.